Hi, this is Abby Levine with Gaia GPS. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to navigate along a route. Let's check it out. So, the navigation actually can start even before you get to the trailhead. Sometimes it can be tricky to even find the trailhead before you go on your adventure. Gaia can actually give you driving directions. Just tap the route in the app, hit the More button, and press Driving Directions. Once you're at the trailhead, drop a waypoint to mark it. This is a great habit to get into so that you can always find your way back. Dropping a waypoint at your car is also super useful for those crowded parking lots. You'll always be able to find your car amidst the sea. I even do this at the airport. If your stats bar isn't visible at the top of the screen, let's go ahead and turn it on by going to Settings, Toggle on the Stats Bar. Okay, now it's time to turn on turn-by-turn -turn directions for your hike or whatever adventure you're doing. Tap the route, tap it again in the drawer, hit the More button, and then press Guide Me. This activates the turn-by-turn -turn directions. At this point, you can decide if you want to record your tracks in the app, which will leave that breadcrumb trail along the map that you can follow to find your way back. I recommend recording your tracks if you're new to backcountry travel or going on a particularly convoluted adventure with lots of turns, if it's super rocky, the trail is faint, or if there are just a lot of blowdowns and water crossings and it's hard to navigate along the trail. It just gives you an extra assurance that you can retrace your steps to find your way back. Okay, we're finally ready to get going. As you travel along the route, drop waypoints to make memories on the map and also to mark noteworthy features like that blowdown bridge you have to navigate around, that particularly gorgeous view or a campsite you want to return to. I also like to add waypoints if I hide a jacket that I'll snag on the way back, or where I find water to fill up using my water filter. Enhance this field guide you're building by adding photo waypoints to the map. This geotags your photos to the exact location where they're taken. To add a photo waypoint, just hit the plus button on the top right corner and take a picture. Here you can give your photo a title and add any notes. If you're wondering how far you've gone, or, of course, how much further you have to go, just hit the trip icon on the bottom bar. If you see a particularly incredible view off the trail, or just need to duck into the woods to go pee, once it's time to go back to the trail, retrace your steps using your tracks. You can also use these same skills to find your way back if you get disoriented. Just follow your tracks back to the start. At the end of your adventure, press stop recording. Don't worry, if you forget to stop recording, you can edit your tracks later. Your tracks will now appear on the map, a visual representation of your accomplishment. Tap the track to get all the stats. Here you can also edit your track. Just hit Edit, Crop Track. This is also where you can change the color of your track. If your tracks aren't visible in the map, do not panic. Just turn them on so that you can see them on the map. I hope these details help you adventure with confidence. You'll now be able to navigate along a route and to enhance your field guide. Thanks for watching. Have fun out there.